I don't mean to get you too excited, Apex fans, or even my Smite fans on this channel from way back in the day, but this game is supposed to be League of Legends and Apex and Smash Bros. put together. It was just announced today. It's called Project Loki. It's been developed by members previously of the Riot development team, and this is a fully independent studio with a game that is set to maybe be the best new game of this next year or upcoming years. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, Joe here. You might remember Big me Joe. from the time okay. I spent leading League of Legends at Riot. Or maybe, if you're a real grizzled ancient, you recognize me from my Halo days. At oh man, but today, Riot Halo, it's... I'm here to talk to you about something new. Good track record. Today I'm speaking on behalf of everyone at Theorycraft Games. Hmm. We're a new, small, and very independent game studio. They look friendly. We're out to make the deepest games in the world. Games that are worthy of thousands of hours of play and games that are just better when you play them with your friends. Mm -hmm. We became independent to give ourselves the freedom to take a big swing. So we Risky. took everything we've learned over the years about making super fun PVP games and set out to build something fresh, a new competitive adventure for you huh. and the squad. Huh. Let me just show you. New, huh? All right, let's take a look at this. Firefox. Oh, so there's a drop ship. Okay, so I see the Apex portion. Is this a BR? Oh, I'm up for this. Okay, this all looks like League. Okay, so teams of four? Teams of four, are there? Okay, 2v1, clearly. What is the one, is that, is that games? Oh, that's sick. This fighting is pretty crazy. Wait, four squads alive. Three squads alive. Wait a second. Wait, so are there different modes? There are definitely... that You're definitely dropping into a battle royale. So is this like League where... Oh my gosh. The play style is there, but... It's a battle royale where you're fighting against multiple... League teams at a time. Wow, that's nuts. How do we feel about Top Down? I... I I think if done right, it's great. Oh my god, so this is a BR. A, but with the team mechanic in a league-ish format. Wow. get to show you a little of our first game in development. You know what it reminds me of? calling it Project Loki. Battle Right. From the ever... very beginning of development, we've had an incredible community of players in our Discord. Look that game up. Testing the game and giving us feedback. And it's thanks to them we're confident enough to share more. Oh my gosh. Some of our players have described Loki in their own words as League meets Apex meets Smash. Am I missing the Smash we part? What's the Smash that part? Is, it, is that the battle right? Live up to it. In a session of Loki, you'll assemble your squad from our roster of heroes. Okay. You'll put together totally unique builds with exotic powers and equipment. I do love that though. You'll the equipment and the builds. Other teams in sprawling, yeah. flowing battles. Look at that. Oh my God. So you're you're on the edge of a huge world in the sky. Wow. And dream up crazy strategies in our wow. combat sandbox. Wow. I won't spoil everything about Loki right now. Yo, that movement is crazy. Really of, even this early in development is just how much creativity and freedom we've built into combat. Jump pad? Okay. If you're coming from a MOBA like League or Dota, Octane, we man, they took Octane. immediately appreciate the difference <laughs> and quickly learn how to express your own unique play uh, style. The wow. founding principle of Theorycraft is to be community driven in our approach. We sure. think there will always be a need for game studios who are willing to go to war I like with the, the industry on behalf of players. We think you deserve to be involved early. Go to war with the industry, listened, okay. And to Come be down. the center of the games you choose to play. In the past, we've championed these values on games you've loved, and at Theorycraft, you can expect us to carry that same spirit forward. I like this guy right here. To our current playtesting community, he seems really I really can't tell you enough grounded. how grateful we are for you. If you're meeting us for the first time, what we're showing today is just the beginning. It looks like a gentle, but sign up to play test. Come stern, play some games like with us and join wise us father, I would say. Thanks so much for That's watching. That's a dad right there. I can't wait to share more with you soon. Just such a nice looking guy. Oh man, good vibes. Good vibes, Theorycraft. I, li listen, we're gonna watch this one more time. 
I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit as we watch this because I, I want to react to you guys and po point out a couple of these details too because maybe not complete volume down, but I want to talk about my thoughts on this as this plays again because the two things that I see immediately are League. So you're allowed to have these equipment upgrades and the ability upgrades, which is really a MOBA identifier. I love that in games. Every game is unique. Every build is unique. Every build is unique because you're fighting different people and you need different things based on the map and the person. So that is a really, like, huge element. This game said that they want to let people play 10,000 hours. I remember reading that about Project Loki. And uh, I, I really thought that that was true. I, it seems like that's going to be true. A new competitive adventure for you and the squad. Here's the thing about this, though. As, as we watch this one more time, it really does feel fresh. I've never seen this this battle royale but taken in this three or four v four v four v four type dynamic where you do have a br now my question is are you going to loot your abilities are you going to loot let's say like uh diamonds or emeralds that allow you to then pick an ability if you have more can you steal them from an enemy when you win do you pick up something from them after you kill them like in apex like in a br where their loot empowers you is that somebody turned into a chicken right there Rome Royale, shout outs. Um, I don't know. That looked like they might have dropped something. Like they died and they dropped something. So that could be a cool element. The Apex thing of a BR and implementing MOBA fighting styles, that's really interesting. Um, it's almost like the element of a MOBA that is fun for me to cast when I casted Smite and when I played that was that you kind of know what you're getting into. It's not this free for all. It's like 5v5. You know the builds you're making. You know the, the enemies. Here it seems like you're not able to know. You know, you're going into a lot more of a free flow, like he said. And so you're going to have to be prepared for anything. There might not be the set perfect counter build that one pocket pick will take away the enemy team's strategy or totally dominate the enemy team. So drafting phase, if this turns into an eSport, may not be as interesting. I want to rewatch just the footage one more time because I think that's like a good over overview while I'm just getting my final thoughts out here. But I also want to know what you guys think because the thing I'm not seeing is Smash. But the thing that I think maybe they might mean is the aspect of battle right which is this kind of really amazing top-down brawler that i think you can probably say is fits the smash dynamic it's really really fun you have a dash you have an ultimate ability you have a shift uh you have a right click a left click it looks like so primary and auto i should do a whole video talking about all the details that i find in this because that's really really cool um but this is just something different, guys. I'm excited. I'm, you know, I would love to play this. I've already talked to people about this uh, and possibly play testing this. Some of the community managers have, have reached out to me as well. I have a friend from YouTube who said, uh, reach out Lester Chen. Give him a shout out there. I reached out to him. He's going to connect me with the team. So it looks like I'll be able to have a chance to play it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show anything, but I want to get your thoughts on how this is feeling to you guys if this has potential this is fun and guess what it's still a really good well-kept secret because the video i'm watching only has twenty-seven thousand views i thought this might be trending on gaming it's not it's still under the radar so you're one of the first to really see it and hear about it on the youtube side on twitter the post about this has over a million views and i think people are already especially in the industry in the know getting excited and ready to see if this can build some space to carve out within a very competitive gaming industry does it mean that this is going to be better than Apex, better than Smash, better than the League? No. For the first time, a game claiming to be those things feels like it's actually doing something different. Can I wait to play? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you're interested in this video because I'll tell you what, I certainly am. I'll keep you updated on Project Loki here on the channel as well. Make sure to subscribe.